oh hi, or should I say, oh hello? I am wearing a galabaya. So, as some of you may know, I used to live in Egypt. But how is living in Egypt, man? Well, 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 that's what I'm gonna explain to you today. What is it like living in Egypt? Share a little bit of the Egyptian culture with you, if you will. Also, it's Weekends with Marias, number 25. I don't know what that was. Um, let's just start a dance intro now for reals. All right, put it in color again. Okay, now put it in black and oh, oh, it's black and white already. Oh. If you've never gotten hit by a car, you're missing out on the Egypt experience! Go get hit by a car. Crazy traffic also means crazy taxis. So in Egypt, there's two types of taxis. You got your black and white taxi. These are the lower quality ones, the older cars, the ones without the taxi meter. And then you have your newer white taxis, which do have a taxi meter in them. Need to go somewhere in Cairo traffic? Great. Just stop a taxi. There's like a hundred around you at any given time. And they're usually asking you if you need a taxi. <laughs> Beep 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 hello you need taxi beep 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 you need taxi you sure I give you good praise taxi taxi no no please taxi taxi beep 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 So now that you have your Egyptian taxi just tell them where to go You're pretty lucky if you get to the right place the first time because building numbers in Egypt are virtually non-existent You're probably gonna end up like a mile away on the same street but like a mile away from where you're supposed to be Gotta run in that Egyptian heat Yeah I mean, you could ask them if you're in the right place before you get out of the taxi and pay them, but they'll just be like, Quais, quais, my fish mushka, no problem, no problem, my friend. You are good place, goodbye, goodbye, beep, 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 wait, I'm forgetting to ask you, you have the tip, the tip, the, the bachish you having for me? No? Oh, oh, no, no squais, enter, no squais. Beep, 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 the people in Egypt are so nice, so amazing, and pretty hospitable. If you talk to someone for at least a minute, it's not unlikely for them to offer you shai, aka tea, with a lot of sugar. But then again, if you ask them for directions, they're rarely gonna tell you they don't know. So you follow one guy's directions, you go to this place, you ask somebody else, hey, I'm here, but where is where I'm supposed to be? They tell you, oh, it's over that way, so you go there. And they tell you, no, it's over that way, and then you go there, and then you're just on a wild goose chase for a, a long time. Eventually you just ask a police officer if he can direct you and he also gives you wrong directions. Wow. But then again, my bike never got stolen in the four years I parked it outside. And in college here in the US, after one semester, it's already gone, gone to the, to the, to, to the pawn shop. My bike is in a pawn shop, some, some kid in A bag of the blue Cool Ranch Doritos was about one pound when I lived there back in my day. That's about 20 cents. I was also able to get a pretty fulfilling and big meal for about four US dollars. Now I know what you see here, you're like, damn, that looks good. I wish everybody in the world could wear the Egyptian fashion. But I mean, you, only, you don't really see this around. Like the, the younger generation usually wears like, Brands. By brands, I mean there's a lot of fake clothing brands there. Like they'll sell something that looks like Nike, but the brand is actually Heike. And like Polo Ralph Lauren will just be like Bolo Ralph. But I mean, clothes are clothes. I'm not really big on fashion, so I don't really care. FIFA. That's all I'm gonna say. FIFA everywhere. In Egypt, you don't have many like homeless, homeless people who live on the streets. I mean, they usually have like a tent or something. But the homeless people in Egypt 
are the cats. There are so many street cats in Egypt and it's pretty sad because they're treated like trash. It's also pretty ironic because like ancient Egypt worships cats and now all the cats are just trying to steal food and people are throwing rocks at them like get away from my belly bread, get away, you know? If you want to enjoy a nice meal outside, maybe a restaurant has like an outside patio, good luck protecting your food from the cats, okay? You look away for two seconds and the next second your fish is gone or your, your cucumber. The cats don't even like cucumbers, your cucumber's gone. Not really sure, maybe I lived in a crappy apartment, but for the three out of the four years I lived in that apartment, there was no roof on the apartment building. And then the last year they finally made a roof, but it was like, what was it? It was like, it was like just wooden planks just laid down? Like, like nice roof bro, do you even roof bro? All in all, living in Egypt was a great experience. I love the country for everything that it is. It's changed a lot since I've lived there four years ago, but it's still just a dope place to be. Smile more. Oh shit.